sparkling infinite top-down shooter with too much neon lights. In this sci-fi adventure, take control of your character as he blasts his way through hordes of cybernetic creatures to defeat the Overseer. The rampage doesn't end there. You get to customize your own brand of hero with varying weapons and abilities. You want to be a cyborg assassin, a cyber psycho, then choose the right skills and marvel in its brutal roguelike action. According to the game, every death is a new beginning. How amazing would that be? It has a play score of an 8.96. Ninth in the ranking is Goodnight Story. For a title with two possible meanings, you'd be even more amazed at the length of its scope. Take the role of a brave knight as he, well, wakes up from a terrible hangover in a dungeon with no recollection of how he got there. In the game, you venture into unknown lands and face deadly creatures only to remember what really happened during that fateful night. The joy of this game is a match 3 combat system similar to Candy Crush. However, the twist is whenever you match tiles together, you attack. It has an RPG feeling to it, making you feel like you're really battling monsters with each group tiles. Find the enemy's weakness and survive over hundreds of fun levels. It has a play score of a flat 9. Rack 8th is Jurassic Go Dinosaur Snap Adventures. No, this isn't Jurassic Park Go, and no, this isn't similar to Pokemon Go. Jurassic Go is a light-hearted adventure to quell your prehistoric curiosities. It makes use of iPhone's hardware to provide a fun and fantastic journey. Your quest? To photograph the most adorable, the wildest, and the rarest dinosaurs of all time. Explore the beautiful landscapes, discover rare species, and build your very own museum. To receive rewards based on how good your photos angle is, you gain experience and upgrade your camera with better lenses and more customizations. Of course, the game is kid-friendly, so how about you tell your little brother or cousins to play this? It has a play score of a flat 9. Number 7 in the list is Mini Metro. In a world filled with public utility transportation, it's difficult to keep track of everything going on. Rush hours prove to be a living hell. Thankfully, the two-man developers of Dinosaur Polo Club managed to solve this problem. Well, not in real life, but in a game! The challenge is to develop a fast, thriving railroad system across the city. Create the biggest and the most adaptive design you can make and watch the world connect themselves in a visually pleasing way. Mini Metro's charm comes from the intuitive controls, minimalistic design, and the simplicity of its mechanics. It's an easy break from the pressures of real life. Take a time off and enjoy the living transit system that you built. An awesome subway simulator with a play score of a 9.01. Rack 6 is Steam World Heist. The game was originally released last 2015 on the Nintendo 3DS. Its release on the iOS is a testament to how exhilarating a space adventure it is. This sequel to Steam World Dig lets you lay as the captain of a steam-driven pirate crew. Gather a ragtag group of robots on a voyage to the far reaches of space. The more crew you gather, the better your group abilities are. So never forget to expand your crew and upgrade their abilities in this grand space adventure. Steam World Highs relies on its solid turn-based shooting mechanics with a dose of side-scrolling gameplay. It forces you to visualize the area, plan your attacks, and make each turn count. Gain loots, collect rare items, and defeat enemy robots along the way with a play score of a 9.05. Number 5 in this ranking for the best iOS games of 2016 is Bullet Hell Monday. Bullet Hell Monday. Three words that you don't normally associate together. In real life, it's a nightmare. In a mobile game, it's more than just a nightmare. The title just says it all. With more than 50 unforgiving stages to beat, this game's difficulty is abnormally high. So much so that it's bound to test your mobile reflexes and finger muscle strengths. Pilot a small spaceship across increasingly difficult levels. Clear missions, upgrade your ship, and be the top pilot in the whole world. If you think Undertale's boss fights were hard, then you better try this game. It's one of the finest bullet hell games on the App Store with a play score of a 9.10. Fourth in the ranking is Dan the Man. The developers of Fruit Ninja and Jetpack Joyride give you an adventure worthy of your time. This side-scrolling platformer takes homage from a classic beat-em-up game. Run, jump, punch, and kick your way through various action-packed stages. Travel with your girlfriend as you save the world from an emerging evil organization. You don't even have to immerse yourself in the story, just sink into its fluid combat. Aside from the game's side-scrolling adventure, players can also unlock new skins for playing in survival mode and battle mode. 
fight waves and waves of enemies and test your mettle. Can you make it until the end? Dan the Man has a play score of a 9.14. Third on the list is Space Marshals 2. It's rare to find a Western-themed mobile game that's more than just shooting, even rarer when it's mixed with science fiction. Space Marshals 2 is a tactical top-down shooter that lets players equip with space cowboys with a variety of stealth and shooting. The clever balance between these two elements make the game challenging. You don't always get to take all enemies in an all-out war. Instead, use your stealth abilities to take them down. The game is also presented with gorgeous 3D textures. It has achievements, MFI control support, and your progress is saved to the iCloud. With over 20 missions and glorious HD visuals, it's either flank or be flanked. Watch out for that high noon! It has a play score of a 9.24. Number 2 is Severed. For a game that uses tactical features of smartphones, Drinkbox Studios made an exemplary job with Severed. Originally a console game, it was later ported to the iOS. In this game, your only best friend is your finger. That sounded wrong, but uh, just don't take it literally. As the title implies, you take control of Sasha, a one-armed warrior on a quest to find her family. The story is set in a world of nightmares and the monsters that lurk in the depths of your darkest dreams are so present. Use your fingers to slice enemies to pieces and dodge attacks. Its intuitive touch controls paired with vibrant art style makes the game so much fun and exciting. The difficulty progression will keep you on your toe. Upgrades in skills and armors make everything a little bit easier. Severed has a play score of a 9.41. And here are the runners-up before we reveal the number one. Teeny Titans, a Teen Titans Go! figure battling game. It's a 3v3 rumble. Build your own team of teeny fighters and take on the world. Super Cat Tales. It has the perfect fun game recipe. Mysterious Island, check. Platformer slash exploration, check. And cute cats, check, check, and check. Super Stickman Golf 3. As the third game of the series, it has more of everything. More levels, more power-ups, and more game modes. Oh, and collectible cards, and a lot more. Rule with an iron fish. It's not just yar. It's to be the best fisher among all the pirate captains. Expand your crew and catch the rarest creatures that ever swam. The Bug Butcher. This is one fierce shooter. Zap alien bugs and decontaminate infested facilities in Planet Zoids. Use every weapon in your arsenals from bullets to lasers. Warbits. Command your units and your enemies' progress. This mobile war simulator may look simple, but there's a solid strategy game underneath the colorful visuals. Egging. Why did the chicken cross the road? Well, to hatch eggs, of course. <laughs> Build your own chicken farm in this crazy management game. Crypt of the Necrodancer Pocket Edition. The mobile port is just as amazing as the original PC game. Deliver the grand beat down to the tune of your own music library. Tennis Champ Returns, a re-release of the classic Amiga game 20 years after its original release. Rise to the ranks of the top tennis players in the world. Imbroglio, a labyrinth of gyms and monsters, and your goal is to survive each and every one of them. Pick a hero and jump in. You can get these games right now by clicking the links in the description box below. And the What to Play Award for the best iOS game of 2016 goes to... Crashlands! There's no denying it, for every iOS rankings we published lately, Crashlands has consistently made it to the top. Is it worth it? Of course it is! It's a mobile game! Play as Flux Daves, a space trucker who gets space shipwreck in a mysterious and hostile planet. Its gameplay is surrounded by four major pillars. Craft, build, explore, and fight. Craft the most powerful items to dominate the planet. Build a sustainable home for you to survive the planet's nasty environment. Explore procedurally generated dungeons populated with monsters and fight for your survival. Oh, and it doesn't end there. The constant stream of updates makes it more fun to play with. Not to mention, the game has a cross-save feature. Crashlands has a play score of a 9.49, and it's one of What to Play's best iOS games of 2016. 
We publish three gaming videos every week, so don't miss out on any of them. Click that bell button beside the subscribe button, check the send me box, and save. Don't forget to like and share this video to your friends. Subscribe now and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Google+.